Hey guys, it's Tochi here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing why you should become a local travel nurse. Reason number one. All right, so pay period all right <laughs> so you get paid a lot more okay you get paid a lot more and you're able to negotiate your pay every time you extend your contract you're able to negotiate a lot of stuff um, with your contract regardless just make sure you get a, a good recruiter um, who's always going to be behind your back um, just supporting you in every way possible but the best reason is pay and I will never become a staff nurse ever again like Ever, period and I always tell this to other staff nurses like I will never become one and I'm just recruiting a lot of <laughs> a lot of my friends um, to become travel nurses too and I've gotten several of them on board um, and they like it so far so the pay is definitely the number one reason why I will never go back to being a staff nurse that's getting paid $30 an hour $25 an hour that's just not that's not possible it's not um, once you have standards, once you get a taste of what your check looks like every week, because you don't get paid bi-weekly, um, you, you, you're like living the good life. You have a reason to be bougie. You have a reason to act like this. I'm joking. Nah, um, you just have, once you get a taste of what your check looks like every week, you will know um, that you deserve this. You deserve to be getting paid this amount. And the hospitals really need travel travelers and um, they will do everything possible to keep you. And you, But you need to be a good traveler though, period. You, you can't just be slacking. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, number two. Another reason why is because you don't have to deal with hospital politics, all right? You're there for 13 weeks and you're out, okay? You don't have to deal with, you know, annual or uh, biannual, um, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, reviews, evaluations, things like of that nature. You don't have to do that with your manager. What? No more. <laughs> Just 13 weeks and you're gone. Like, it's, it's so good. I don't... I, Hospital positive and then also and also you don't have to deal with like the drama. You don't really know anyone there when you're first starting. Um, if you don't choose to extend and you're just there for 13 weeks, you get to know people, but you don't really know people in depth. You're just there, get your money, work, take care of your patients, and you're gone. Okay, that is it. Like you're just about business. This is a business. Reason number three. You can take breaks whenever. You don't gotta deal with pals. <laughs> thank god because i used to be like so scared asking my manager for um time off and thankfully i did have a good manager but um it's just you used to be so scared asking for time off because you don't know if they'll approve it or not and the thing with traveling is you have to ask for your time off before you start your contract um and see if they approve it or not most likely they will approve it period um but let's say I start right now and I ask for a time off for like maybe a month, a month off, you know, they'll approve it and I'll get that month off to do whatever, to travel the world to this COVID time, but you know, to do whatever I want. And then I could restart my, my contract or go, um, go back to work. Um, you know, so, okay. That is a blessing. You don't have to deal with it because they're most likely just going to, um, approve it and keep it, um, going because at the end of the day I have never met a traveler who has not have time their time off approved at all like your your what is it called your um, recruiter asks you what time off do you want and if you want your birthday off you could request that and they won't get the manager won't put you down on your birthday to work because then that's against your contract you know so that's another reason number four is number four is you get to travel travel nurse you get to travel the world the states the country you get to travel everywhere you want to go um but as a local travel nurse okay as a local let's let's bring it back here as a local travel nurse um i like to 
just stick to where I am in this, the state that I am in um, and just travel to different hospitals. I don't have kids or anything like that, so it may be beneficial for um, people who do have kids to do local travel nursing rather than um, just traveling abroad or um, to, to many, many different states like regular travel nursing is. But since I'm a local travel nurse, I just stay within my state and go to different hospitals. I've only been at one hospital for right now and I've been extending, so it's been good. I've been getting used to everybody. It's, it's been really good um, and I like extending. Okay, reason number five is you get to you get to meet different people. Since I've been extending at the hospital that I've been at, um, I've been seeing travelers just come in and leave, come in and leave. Um, and I met so many, so many different travelers and um, I met, I've had close friends of travelers now. Um, and that's a good thing. You just get to meet different people and relate to them because you guys are travelers and um, you get to talk about different things, about your pay, about your company, all the things like that. See where they're going on their next contract and blah, blah, blah. So it's really good to meet different types of people. And if you are traveling to different states and different hospitals, you will meet people. Um, and it's never a bad thing to meet people at all. Reason number six is you get used to different EMRs, okay? So like Epic or Cerner, you get used to that and it makes you a fast learner. Regardless, being a travel nurse, local or not, you become fast at learning things. And this is a very, very good top-notch quality to have. Um, and then also being a traveler, you get to go to different hospitals and some of them may be like the like a renowned hospital so you get to put down your resume and be a traveler then um there as well so it's there's no harm in that at all those are my reasons why i became a local travel nurse um local travel nurse i as a local travel nurse i do not take the stipends at all i travel and commute from home um it does put a lot on my car but it's whatever the pay balances that out other than that it's just been a blessing because I have a great recruiter. Um, I have a great company that stands by me. Um, and I've just been meeting a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of travelers as well. And um, when I go to the next hospital for my next contract, the thing is you're not bound to the hospital and you're just there for 13 weeks or whatever, how many weeks you want to extend and you're up. So if you don't like it, then you're just out. You know, if you don't really care for the people there, you're out and you're not bound by their hospital politics and all that nonsense and you see these people that you don't really care for and then you leave you're not there forever like a regular staff nurse if you have any questions just comment below um, be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will just be pushing out these nursing videos one after the other okay and um, i hope you like this video thank you for watching bye